Hello guys, welcome to the 30th session of Create Custom Alexa Skin using AWS Lambda Function Tutorial for Beginners. In this session, we will learn how to use DynamoDB within Alexa Skin. Amazon DynamoDB is a fast and flexible, no SQL database service. It's part of AWS. DynamoDB supports both document and key value store models. Alexa SDK provides methods to store and retrieve data from DynamoDB easily. Alexa Core SDK uses user ID as the partition key. Let us open AWS console. Search for DynamoDB. Click on Create Table button. Use table name that you want to use. For a partition key, we need to write ID. It will be user ID from the request. It will be a string and click on create button. Here our table is creating. It takes time. In between I am going to add DynamoDB permissions to our Lambda function. For this open IAM. Click on Rules, scroll down to bottom, search for Lambda that you have created. So here we need to search for Thought, select it, click on Attach Policy button, search for Dynamo and select Amazon DynamoDB Full Access. Click on Attach Policy button. Here it was attached successfully. In this session, I will use the same intent of user preference. Now we will add those slot values into session. When the user says save my data, then we will save those data into DynamoDB. And when the user says show me data, we will retrieve it from the database. Let us create new intents. With name, save user preference. Here the user may say, save my preference or store data. And create one more intent with same show user preference. For this, user may say, show user data or show me preference. Let us build model. Let us switch to Visual Studio Code to update our Lambda. In Add User Preference Handler, we will add those slot values into sessions. For this, let us retrieve existing data using Attribute Manager. And update values for all those three slots. And using set session attributes method, update session data. And also we don't want to end session here, so use with should end session method. And comment those elicit and confirm slot conditions so we can simply test it. For this example, we also need to use Alexa SDK along with Core SDK. So let us install this. To use DynamoDB in Alexa SDK, we need to install AWS SDK as well as DynamoDB Persistence Adapter. Change name to Alexa Core as it will load core package. Let us import all three packages that we have installed. Scroll to end. 
here we need to create an instance of standard scale instead of custom scale. Difference between standard scale and custom scale is that standard scale includes some methods for managing DynamoDB data. Use with table name method of standard scale builder and pass table name that we have created. Let me copy in with DynamoDB client method create instance of DynamoDB and use latest API version. In with partition key generator method pass user ID. We can also use device ID. Now let us create a new handler for save user preference intent. I forgot to append handler suffix, however it is not necessary. Here we need to create a new promise. And retrieve existing attributes from database using get persistent attributes method of attributes manager. We will get dynamo attributes, opt-in session data, and update dynamo attributes with session attributes. Use set persistent attributes method to update those attributes. Call save persistent attribute method and pass handler input and dynamo attributes. We will need to return this. Here is a typo. We need to use them instead of them. After saving those attributes, we need to generate a simple response with the message your data saved successfully. Open scale again to check those data. And pass this into resolve method that we get in promise. Create catch method and pass error object in reject method. Now we need to create new handler for save user preference intent. Let us copy this handler. Update intent name. Let us remove this unnecessary code and generate speech text. Hey person name. You want to visit country name? With friend counts friends and update in speak method. Register both handlers, save the file and deploy lambda function. Open test simulator. Start our skill. My name is Emily and I want to visit Dubai with my two friends. Here you can see that data is added to session attributes. Let us save those data in DynamoDB. Here an error occurred. Let us open CloudWatch to see it. Refresh log groups. Select latest log string. Here session was ended. Because which let response was null. It means our lambda function didn't generate response. Let us see what is missing. Here we have called get response method. We also need to return promise. 
also update this in show user preference handler and deploy lambda function again. Open scale. Again use same utterance. And save preference. Here we got a success message. Let us see in DynamoDB. Click on item. Here is an our record. Expand the attributes. Those three values are we have added for this user ID. Let us use same utterance and change value of any slot. Now Emily want to visit Australia. Here we need to start our skill again. We have ended session after saving data. Use same statement and save data. Check in DynamoDB. Click on search to reload data. Here you can see that we have Australia in country name attribute. Means DynamoDB will perform update operation if it contains values with same user ID. Let us check those values from simulator. Again we need to open our scale. And this time directly open show user preference intent. Here we got all values as we have expected. Now let us see what we have learned in this session. DynamoDB is no SQL database. We can store in key value format. To use DynamoDB in Alexa Core SDK, we need to install AWS SDK and DynamoDB Persistence Adapter. Create a table in DynamoDB with partition key ID. Use standard skill builder. In which table name method pass table name. In which DynamoDB client method create instance of DynamoDB. In which partition key generator method specify a key that you want to use. Here is a save preference handler. Here we have created promise and retrieve existing data. By using set persistent attributes method set data and save persistent attributes method to save those data. After this, we have generated a response and passed it in resolve method. Here is show user preference handler. Again, here we need to use promise. Use get persistent attributes method to obtain all attributes and generate a string for speech and pass it in result method. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.